Well, hello my friend, my name is Attila and this is Mustard Piece. So here we go guys, let me show you today's design. So it is a jewelry box. And this is the first time ever when I design something that is mechanical. So basically the idea would be, if I lift this rod, the rod would separate the sphere and inside the sphere is hollow so I can put in a ring or a necklace whatever that you are fancy to put in so basically that would be the idea and uh, to be honest I don't know what type of wood pieces I am going to use for this one but uh, the main ring is probably going to be walnut the sphere I don't know I have several wood pieces I will pick one that I think suits the best so Let's just get to it and I hope you stick around. So I have this really nice ported bridge that I wanted to use for the pushing the limit video. But I realized here it is kind of rotten. here as well but I only need just a sphere from here or from here so I'm wondering if I could kind of recycle this really nice wood and make the sphere out of this so let's try that Cut it in half with a little bit off center. I might just use a saw. easy to work with this can I just send it up a little bit Thank you. 
just need to take a little bit more off then I can put it together a bit too far but it's not damaged it's it's very light so it's very difficult to break it looks nice like it the box actually it's a sphere do you still call it a box probably still call it a box so I made an inlay this is the inside I made this part the lid a little bit cool inside I made this outer ring and it's loose I didn't want it to be tight because if I'm going to use a rod to put it in place, I don't think if it's tight that would be a good idea. So it's fairly loose, not so bad, but fairly loose. And obviously, I have match, matching grains on it. Okay, let's just do the outer ring now. So I'm going to make the outer ring now using walnut. So it looks like I have made my first design error. Obviously I can, as I, as I always say, I can draw anything on a piece of paper, but it doesn't mean it will work in a three dimensional form. So I cut this one into half and if I put it like this, it still looks nice, but needs to be further in. And if I put it further in, can you see the gap between them? So it's not going to line up the way I thought it would. I could do like this, but then this one, the top one, is not going to connect. It will be above. So, so I'm pretty sure there is a mathematical equation that I could use to calculate how large the second ring should be to connect seamlessly with the other one but I have no idea how to how to do the math so I am probably just going to use a circle just a single circle like this it will be a little bit wider so kind of like a cylinder shape and we just go with that because I don't know how to solve this problem so I hope I'm not going to disappoint you
just send it up. to make the base I'm going to use this piece of walnut nothing fancy to make the handle now that will lift half of the sphere maybe I can do it with one piece so just cut it and use the other piece to just bolt it to the base I will see I'm not sure percent of the time this is the hardest thing with my projects gluing them together I'm going to drill the hole but it is really difficult to measure the correct position with this one because it's kind of like floating in the air and I have I don't have any reference point whatsoever so hopefully I get it right otherwise I'm going to ruin the whole thing If you want to complete a job like this, you need blue tech. I think this is kind of kind of sad.
have a small announcement to make. Hopefully for next week I will have a professionally designed logo. I am going to change the question mark into a light bulb, but pretty much the same like this. But more importantly, hopefully for next week I will have a professional design animated intro for my channel that was designed purposefully following my instructions. So watch out for that. So I have completed the piece. The box is not perfectly centered because I wanted to have a little bit of room to be able to lift the lid. I can put in a small ring or a necklace. It goes back quite easily. It has matching grains. Pretty good wood grain. Coated it with clear lacquer. And the only downside is the design error I made. Unfortunately I couldn't make it from two separate rings but that's the only regret I have. Other than that I think it came out fairly nice. So if you like this video can you please put a like on it and comment tell me what you think and uh, if you made it at the end of this video thank you for watching and as always I hope to see you on the next one.